Hello there, my name is Chris with Lady Craft Motorsports. We're here in Corona, California. Today we're going to be doing a process called vacuum bagging. Um, it's very confusing because there are processes called vacuum infusion. Um, infusion is a little bit different than what we're doing. Our goals are to impregnate the bolsa core into the laminate via a vacuum bag process, extracting all voids and all air between laminate and bolsa core. Now, the hence the word bolsa core definition is actually truly that. It's a very, very soft wood. But the end grain goes tensile strength. It goes side to side, not long ways. Um, therefore, when that bolsa core is basically mated with fiberglass material, the fiberglass is the bonding agent and the resin is the glue. Essentially, the resin will migrate through the fiberglass and into the bolsa during the bag process. When we utilize a bag process, we're actually extracting all voids with a, with a plastic material, therefore utilizing equal pressure from tip to tail. When all this vacuum bag process is done, essentially the resin has been migrated to bond the core and to migrate into the bolsa, therefore creating a very rigid structural integrity through all. Years ago, the process was by doing it by hand. If you've got a 30 foot boat, all the keel, all the V, the side, the transom, were all done by hand. Great process, but we've basically stepped it up a notch. By doing it by hand, you're wetting the material out and essentially rolling with, let's say you had a paint roller that was full of lead, a very heavy duty roller. But if you've got four or five guys from tip to tail, the equal pressure is not there. By utilizing the vacuum bag, we've eliminated that equation. By utilizing the vacuum bag, we're enabling ourselves to be equal pressure from tip to tail, transom, keel, all in one shot, one hit. So therefore, because the resins are catalyst driven, we have to really get on our A game during the process. And it's basically hurry up and run because as soon as the catalyst hits the resin, we have to move because the time starts to click. Once the bag is done, everybody can pretty much take a break because the bag is what essentially pushes the material, once again, equally throughout the whole process. One of the most commonly asked questions or maybe a myth is that how much weight are you actually saving during this process and why are you doing it? The first answer to the first question is how much weight does it save? Probably doesn't save you any at all. The next question is, is what is it for? Basically what it does, and in our opinion at Labycraft Motorsports, is add structural integrity throughout. Not too many. We actually have done it for approximately 10 years now, and some of my competitors have followed suit. Um, how they do it and how I do it, it's kind of like we don't, we don't show and tell. We like to do it because we know from our offshore racing experience that it just, it just doesn't break. I guess the answer to the biggest question is why? Well, we feel at Lavycraft Motorsports that it's just one step above all.